So welcome back everyone, Mike here. I am down here at my mom's place this evening. And if you've been following our channel for a while, you may remember last fall, actually early winter, I put a bunch of new culvert pipes in this driveway and my uh, sister's driveway down there. Well, it was real wet that time of year and I just left this ditch right here. And the plan was to come back in the spring when things dry up, lay the sides back and make like a nice swale down through there. But my mom would like me to put pipe in the whole way down to the other driveway. So uh, I'm going to need some dirt to backfill that with. So I'll show you what my plan is here at least this evening. Down on the other side of that driveway, that all needs uh, graded up. And there is some excess dirt there. That's where I put all the dirt from uh, this ditch before. So what I'm going to do here this evening is kind of smooth all that up and also get me a pile of dirt that I will be able to use for a backfill for this when I get more pipe. I think that pipe is uh, 15 inch. It's pretty expensive. I'm going to have to measure it up. I'm going to need one, two, three or four joints. Yeah. But it'll definitely make it easier to mow. Yeah, there's actually, I don't know, this whole area is probably six inches high. So I'm going to get a lot of dirt right here. I'm going to be using the uh, MX5400 and this land plane for the first time. Uh, this is a six-footer. It's a land pride. And I used to run a seven-footer, but I wanted a six-footer this time. And the reason is this. Seven-footers aren't going to, you know, get your whole driveway one pass anyway. And a six-footer... It's easier to get like the crown in your driveway, you know, one side and the other. Some of the driveways that we have, you know, I have just sloped to one side. Some of them do have a crown. But, uh, yeah, I wanted to use a six-footer, and that's what I have. This is a GS2572, very heavy-duty built uh, land plane. Now, this one has the rippers. The way they're adjusted right now, they're just barely touching, which that'll be fine for this. There's nothing hard over there. It's not like I'm ripping up an old driveway. But, uh, yeah, I think it'll work out all right. It's a little damp, but it's not real muddy. I'm going to start down at this end here, pull some dirt this way. I'll start up there, and I'll probably make a nice pile right up in here somewhere that I'll then be able to bail across the road and use for backfill. Hope that all makes sense.
All right, that looks a lot better. I'm not sure if I have enough dirt there piled up. I think I do because uh, I'll get a load of 2A limestone for bedding around that pipe when I backfill it. So I only need enough dirt for maybe the top eight inches or a foot. That should be enough. If not, I'm a little bit high over in here. I can take some more out of here. But that worked really good. I was both pulling with, you know, pulling the land plane and pushing with the loader. Worked really well. So a lot of people have been asking in the comments how I like the MX-5400 so far. Now keep in mind, I've only ran it maybe three hours so far, but the short answer is I love it. Something that really stands out and that I'm not used to is how quick and how smooth the loader is. It's not all herky-jerky, and it's fast. It is up, down, dump, curling back. Works really, really quick, and everything just feels solid. And I like that speed. You know, like when I was pushing into that pile, you're lifting up, you're dumping, and you're already backing up and getting ready for the next pass before you even know it. It's that quick. I really do like that. I was thinking when I was down here a couple years ago, I was working in this area doing something. I had the uh, Kubota L3901 down here, and the title of that video was something like, it's a tractor, not a dozer. And what I meant was, a lot of people think these tractors are like a skid loader or a dozer, and they rip and tear on them. I like to just kind of go slow and smooth and steady and not tear anything up. But this thing here, it's getting a little bit closer to a dozer. It is, it's just a beast in there. You know what I mean? I was pushing dirt, pulling dirt, and uh, I like it. I like it a lot, and I'm looking forward to uh, using a bunch more. Uh, something else I want to mention before I wrap this video up. Uh, comments, emails, Facebook messages, all that. I got a couple emails the other night. People saying, hey, I left a comment the other day on your video, and you never got back to me or whatever. We, we do our best. We really do. Keep the comments coming, the emails. We read almost everything. It's just sometimes hard to get back to everyone. So if you really need to know something, keep trying and we'll get back to you. But I would say on average, between Facebook messages, uh, Instagram, YouTube comments, email, I don't know if I already mentioned that or not, you're looking at seven or 800 you know, exchanges a day. So it's literally impossible to get back to everybody in a timely manner, but we do do our best. So if you need to know something really bad, just send another email and we'll get back to you. Also, keep sending in the uh, intros and the outros. We're going to start putting them back in. Uh, we took a little bit break there just because I was getting behind on things and trying to finish up editing before you go to work. But I really enjoy doing that. And I like seeing what you guys are doing. You know, you always see what we're doing. And that's another thing. Go to our Facebook page if you're on Facebook. And you can post pictures there. Uh, Melissa always talks about the hashtag Outdoorgans on Instagram. I search hashtag Outdoorgans. And you can see people from all over the world that watch our channel. Out there on your tractors, cutting firewood, whatever. It's really cool. And lastly, check out uh, Melissa's channel, Morgan's Off the Leash. She's doing really good. She's up to like... 12,000 subscribers or something like that and on her ninth video it took me I don't know a year maybe to get that many and like 80 videos or something I'm not even sure but uh, yeah she's doing really well and I think that's about it so like I always say if you enjoy these videos someone's shooting at me not at me if you enjoy these videos please hit the like button click subscribe and share them with your friends thanks